And it's been very important that I dispel the uh, perception or possible perception that the announcement of the reward is the situation that we've run out of uh, lines of inquiry. This is a very proactive investigation. We've got numerous lines of inquiry and we see the reward as another tool that we can use to find out what's happened to William. To give you an understanding of the magnitude of the investigation, it is the state's largest investigation. We've had over 2,800 reports to Crime Stoppers alone from members of the public providing information. We have a further 196 reports directly to the strike force. We've had 1,078 sightings of William Tyrrell. All this information has been followed up and uh, we've collated, uh, collated the information and created uh, investigators' notes on it, which is currently in excess of 11,000 pieces of information we've got. We've collected 628 uh, exhibits and we've identified 690 persons of interest. Now again, I want to make it very clear that the fact that we've got so many persons of interest doesn't mean that we have no idea on what's happened. We've cast the net very wide on this investigation. The level of risk associated with the persons of interest vary. How we target those persons of interest vary. There's been some very public um, lines of inquiry that have played out in the media and in the public. We're doing that where a lot that the public are not aware of. As I stand here and speak, we're working on covert operations at this particular point in time. To address the numbers of persons of interest, the 690 persons of interest, we've increased the size of the uh, strike force. We're now getting assistance. Roseanne is the name of the strike force run by the homicide. We've now created Roseanne 2, which provides assistance from other squads within State Crime Command. That includes the armed hold-up squad, the sex crimes and also the fraud squad. We're also using local area commands to target these persons of interest. How we target them, I'm not going to go into methodology, it's covert, it's overt, all different ways, depending on the level of risk associated with those uh, persons of interest.